Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Lessons from the Prophet's farewell sermon. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Today I have perfected your religion for you, completed my blessing upon you, and chosen Islam as your religion. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The Prophet's farewell sermon represents an aspect of the Prophet's eloquence, as he could gather many great religious and humanistic value. In brief statements, drawing an approach that would avail and please humanity as a whole. The first thing our Prophet ﷺ referred to in, his, in this universal sermon is to stress the inviolability of a human soul, properties, and honor. When he ﷺ said, Verily, your blood, property, and honor are sacred, like the sensitivity of the day of yours, in this month of yours, in this city of yours. All souls should be saved, all properties should be protected, and the honor of everyone should be respected. The Almighty Allah said, Do not take the life that Allah has made sacred except by right. The Sharia ah make the killing of one's soul without any legal justification equal to killing all people. As Allah said, we decree to the children of Israel that if anyone kills a person unless in retribution of, for murder or spreading corruption in the land, it is as he kills all mankind. While if any saves a life, it is as he saves the lives of all mankind. To, to stress the sanctity of the blood, the Prophet ﷺ warned against killing saying, a believer continues to guard his faith and thus hopes for Allah's mercy as long as he does not shed blood unjustly. Islam forbids transgression against soul. It is also forbid transgression against properties, whether they are public or private. As the Almighty Allah said, you who believe, do not wrongfully consume each other's wealth. The Prophet ﷺ also said, some people acquire Allah's wealth, means Muslims' wealth, in an unjust manner. Such people will be put in the hellfire on the Day of Judgment. With regard to the inviolability of people's honor to the prohibition of violating in any way, either in writing, speaking, or action, or even through, through sharing any insult. Allah, glory be to him, said, and do not go anywhere near adultery, adultery, and do not go anywhere near adultery, adultery. Surely it is an indensity and an evil way. Also Allah Most High said, those who insult believing men and women will bear the guilt of slander and flagrant sin. Prophet Muhammad ﷺ prohibited slandering chaste women and even counted among the major sins, saying, avoid the seven destructive things. He, peace be upon him, was asked, what are they, O Messenger of Allah? He replied, and slandering chaste women who never even think anything touching chastity and are good believers. Among the most important lesson from the Prophet's farewell sermon is establishing the principle of justice and equality. Establishing a principle of justice and equality among all people. The Prophet has said, O oh people, verily your Lord is one and your Father is one. An Arab has no superiority over an Arab has no superiority over non-Arab, nor does non-Arab have any superiority over an Arab. 
A white has no superiority over a black, nor a black have no superiority over a white. None have superiority over another, except by piety and good actions. The best among you in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most pious one. Thus people are equal in their rights and duties, regardless of their race and color. The Almighty Allah said, People, be mindful of your Lord who created you from a single soul. The Prophet sallallahu said, All of you are children of Adam and Adam was created from dust. The principle of equality is a religious one and a human value that achieves stability and balance in a society. Once a funeral passed in front of the Prophet ﷺ and he stood up. He was told that it that was a coffin of a Jew. He said, it is not a living being soul. The Islamic Sharia also has prohibited, prohibited all form of Partnership. Our Prophet ﷺ said, Indeed, Allah has removed the pride of Jahiliyyah from you and is posting upon lineage. Indeed, a person is either a pious believer or a miserable sinner. And people are all of the children of Adam, and Adam was created from dust. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his companions and followers. One of the most important lessons, including in the farewell sermon, is stressing the status of women and emphasizing their rights and dignity. In this sermon, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Act kindly toward women." The word kindly in this hadith is fully inclusive as it indicates that men should be characterized with all good manners when dealing with women. The Almighty Allah said, Live with them in accordance with what is fair and kind. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wives have rights similar to their obligation." according to what is recognized to be fair. The Prophet ﷺ also said, women are the twins of men. The comprehensive sermon stressed the need of adhere to the law set by Allah regarding giving every heir his or her right, and that no will should be made for their heirs as they have the rights stated in the Sharia. Ah. Therefore, the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah has appointed for everyone who has a right what is due to him and know and must be made to the heir. How much the whole humanity need to benefit from the lessons of the farewell sermon which included great human principle and sublime teaching to the nation and communities can st stabilize. O oh Allah, Protect our country, Egypt, and all other countries of the world.